Yeah, all right. Looks like they're, uh, looks like a busted knuckles home. So we're gonna go in and check it out. Hopefully the engine's back. Maybe we can find out where the fuck he's been. Where the fuck you been, dude? We had a beer fucking deal last night. Well, I was on a mission. I just had to uh, muzzle Mike and this uh, kind of pissed me off. So I just kind of went out and uh, figured I had a wild hair in my ass. My horse wasn't feeling good, so I took a hike to the trails and uh, now I'm just cleaning up the aftermath. And uh, I was doing pretty good I heard that garage door slide open and then I had to take off like a striped ass customers on my butt. But here I am, I'm just making amends, and damn his ass, he ain't got me yet. And, uh, yes, I'm out of arrows. There's one stuck up there somewhere on the ground that it went out before it got there, but... God damn, you left, you had five in that fucker when it was hanging up over there. Well, I shot two with one shot and said... Both ends of the wagon on fire, and uh, that's when that garage door slid open, and I had the boogie, and I took off and dropped, and it I just beat beat Pete out of there. I'm just cleaning it up, cause don't want it to get. Still got a little smoke on it, you know it's. Get that smoke off there, and everything's cool. It'd be ready to go again here. So how'd you, how'd you light the arrows? All right, so what exactly did you do, dude? What kind of shit did you do? I just got a wild hair in my butt, and I set a wagon on fire, and I uh, went up, and I figured, how am I going to do it? Well, there was a can of gas sitting there. And I had the arrows and I had wrapped and wrecked, and I said, yeah, baby, let's go. No shit. Was the gas can sitting outside the garage? Yeah, just like it was kind of... How about the, how about the rags? Yeah, they just, they went, yeah, I just poop a poop a rag. Were they red ones like that, like that uh, tool set over there? Yeah. Really, no shit. Yeah, it was just like, you know, like, okay, I'm waiting on him. I know, he, I know he's not going to drive a vehicle, he's not stealing the gas, but he's going to use it for something, so... Well... Wow. Hey, you know... And he really pissed you off that bad, because why did he piss you off? What, what, did, what did Muzzle Mike do? Alright. So why did he piss you off? What did he do? Well, he was bitching about the judges and the cool points, and it kind of got under my, uh, which I still have my scalp. So I just took it out and says, okay, I'm going on. So hookity boogity, I just hooked it. And I get up there and the gas was there and the rags. And I said, oh, cool, baby. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, that's better than... Well, you can't say we didn't warn them. No. Uh, they, if they would have looked at the, just for the summit down, they'd have seen the smoke signals and would have known that I was on my way. I, when we were down here doing the beer challenge, when you were on the mission last night, we were getting all kinds of phone calls, and uh, I was like, son of a bitch, he's getting smoke signals, high-tech smoke signals on the phone, and uh, I was just like, what the fuck is going on? Where the fuck is he? Besides that uh, he's on a mission. So... Yeah. You stirred up all kinds of hate and discontent in Pennsylvania. Well, you know, up there in Pennsylvania, they kind of have a thing about uh, some places still got the old wooden fences they set up and crossed them, you know, when they made when they had fences. Yeah. Well, I had to jump over one of those, which is no problem. Uh, but I got what I wanted. <laughs> I got my revenge back. 
And um, so you burnt his wagon, honestly? Yeah, both ends. No shit. Yeah. How far away were? Did you have to loft the shot, or was it just a straight in? No, I got close enough where I just had to loop it just a little bit. Just, just like kind of pitching a beer can over to the empty box. Well, that's pretty cool. Yep. That's a hell of a bow you got there, engine. You ain't shitting, buddy. I tell you what. You burned a lot of wagons with that one, I'll bet. Yes, I have. You got the notches carved in it? Well, yeah, I'll bet you do. Right yeah. down there. Yeah, yeah I right see there. that. Right there, I got what? Eight, eight, nine? nine Looks of like them. nine? Nine. Wow. And that one's done twice, so that makes ten. Well, that was nine and a half. It was just a little meat wagon. A little meat wagon? Like an ambulance? Yeah, what they haul them. Ambulance? That's what they haul them off, man. Ten little ones. Well, let me be the one to warn everybody. Don't, don't harass the cool point judges because well, he'll go know. on a mission. He'll come burn your wagon. <laughs> go ahead and sneak up on Andy and Custer couldn't make it. <laughs> he couldn't. Custer was a pussy. If it wasn't for us Indians, white folks wouldn't be wearing arrow shirts. Oh, geez, here we go with the arrow shirts. So, uh, all right, let's sit down and have a beer. I need to calm you down, dude. You need to relax a little bit. Well, I know it's been a rough night. I'm tired. All right.